Okay, let's go ahead and just purchase this expert shovel already. So this is the moment we've all been waiting for, ladies and gents. Expert shovel time. <laughs> and then I'm left with my expert shovel. So look at that. Ooh. This is not just any shovel. It's an expert shovel. And look at that. Look at the DM3. DM3. Trying to resist the DM3s waves of energy right now hello everyone this is career mode in derail valley once again this is episode four if you haven't checked out the uh previous episodes then i'll leave a card up above to uh episode three which is the one just previous to this uh we have ended up here in uh, city southwest from our last episode now for those of you who have been following along in my previous episodes you'll know that we did have the de2 diesel shunter there for a little while but in episode three, the previous episode to this one, we did manage to pick up the steam shunter after a little bit of toing and froing, and that was certainly a fun episode, wasn't it? And so we did end up with our steam shunter here at City Southwest finally, and there it is there, parked in the distance. I'm hoping that today it's a new day and it's going to be a lot more of a milk run. So we still got our job to do from the last episode, don't ask, just check out that previous episode if you want. But it's a wonderful morning right here in Derail Valley Simulator. So I thought, what better way to uh, finish off our job of taking some plywood from City Southwest, which is where we are right now, up to Goods Factory in town, than to utilize this awesome weather that we seem to be having right now in Derail Valley Simulator. And from here, basically what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and just continue on and complete this job finally using the steam shunter. We'll leave the DE2 behind. The DE2's racked up a whole load of fees. We pushed that little DE2 hard, unfortunately, in these past three episodes or so. So, but yes, in this episode, I'm hoping to also pick up the expert shovel. So we need that expert shovel for this steam engine. I really want to try that out. And I'll explain a bit more about the expert shovel in just a moment. And yeah, episode three was quite a crazy one, I think. This one in comparison is going to be a lot more straightforward. So hopefully, uh, it's going to be a nice easy one today in the nice weather within Derail Valley. You can see it has been raining quite heavily. As you can see here, there's still water puddles and the ground is still very much wet here. And you can see how there's wonderful reflections on the ground as well. So they've really done a good job of, uh, of simulating that environmental effects as you can see here. But it's not ready anymore. It's a sunny day, so all of this should dry up today. So the first order of the day is basically try and stay on the right side of the fence here and not get locked in. <laughs> Make our way over to the steam shutter where we will be able to basically continue our run to Goods Factory in town like we should have last time but yeah obviously ran into all sorts of issues there. Uh, I did pick up a lantern as well as a shovel in that last episode towards the end there so and so you can see there that uh, our funds are down to about six and a half grand at the moment so Okay, let's get this locomotive started up and get on out of here. Just going to go ahead and turn on our lubricator in the uh, for the cylinders here of the steam shunter. Very important to do that. Got lots of oil still in this thing. And there's our job from the last episode, which we didn't quite get to complete. We've missed the time bonus, unfortunately, because we had to backtrack there. Um, as I said, that episode was a real doozy, that episode three. So... Um, if you did watch that, you'll know all of the trials and tribulations that I went through. Just going to make sure that we've got our handbrakes off. Whoops, not off, not on. And as I said, this episode in comparison should be really straightforward. And if you've been looking forward to me driving the steam shunter in career mode, this is the episode to, uh, to be watching right now. So the uh, other, I guess, motive I've got here of going to Goods Factory in town, I like to think I've got a little bit of... Um, rhyme to my uh, chaos or madness is basically to get our expert shovel today so it's not enough just to have this shovel I want to go and get the expert shovel now the expert shovel is basically allowing you to uh, have more control over the amount of coal that you put into this firebox so I'm told that it takes double the amount of scoops to fill up the uh, firebox okay so Hopefully by the end of this episode, we'll be getting the expert shovel. And then in the next episode, episode five, I guess at some point we'll be using that expert shovel with this steam shunter. Now I don't quite have the license yet for the DM3. And that might be one of the things I pick up soon as well, because I don't know how much everyone here loves the DM3, the diesel mechanical locomotive as well. 
But I just figured that I'll probably do another episode or two at least with this steam shunter. You can see there we've got a full load of water. And that's because we haven't really driven this steam shunter yet. In that previous episode we were just dragging this thing here and there. Uh, trying to get it into the... Uh, well, just trying to get back here so that we could buy a shovel for the, for the thing. But anyway, we're here now and we're ready to take this thing finally and do what we couldn't do in the last episode and just take this thing up to Goods Factory in town. So I did a first look video on this one if you want to see exactly what I'm doing here. Just charging up the brakes at the moment. Got the headlights going now. Generators on, air pumps on. Uh, brakes are charged up pretty much fully now. Handbrakes are off. And there's a nice one for the thumbnail, I guess. I'm gonna try to include the shovel in there because that shovel, I tell you, that was definitely something that... Uh, really got me last time and I couldn't believe that I forgot it. I actually passed through here and I forgot to purchase the shovel. And without the shovel you can't do anything with the steam engine. You can't shovel the coal, you can't get it going. So there's that. But anyway, that's all done now. No more pain hopefully going forward. Just moving things around in the in inventory here so that makes them easier to access in future. Always like to put my shovel beside the world map and beside the comms radio there because when you're running at speed and you're in a rush when you want to switch between your map and your shovel in your inventory it really makes sense to have them right next to each other so you're not scrolling your mouse from one end of the screen to the other and whatnot okay let's get all set up here got the light bulb on just going to place our little world map down here and today we'll be taking our run here from city southwest not going to be going down and doing this southern route there's no need to do that anymore uh, we're going to be going up to goods factory in town over there but i'm going to take a more direct route so i'm going to be going heading east Okay, past Old Wells Central, uh, past the farm, uh, up through Steel Mill, and then a nice long straight on the level. See how fast we can get this thing, maybe. <laughs> and then up a little incline over to Goods Factory in town. So it's going to be a nice easy run today, as I mentioned. I believe it's not going to be uh, that taxing on the old noggin or the old uh, physical body there. So <laughs> hopefully... Um, it should be a nice easy run and we'll get to see the sights and sounds of Derail Valley and hopefully we don't explode the whole locomotive because that is not ideal either. Okay, handbrake off. I think we've got enough uh, pressure in the boiler now and I think it's a straight shot out of here for the most part. Actually I think we need to change one set of points ahead of us so we'll just uh, see if we can't do that now. There we go. Because we're going to head off to the right hand side, okay? And that will take us over to the east, okay? Leaving here, basically we'll be heading up. Make sure we bear left at that set of points up ahead. Uh, that will be coming up soon. But yeah, we'll get to that anyway once we leave here. And then from there it's just going to be a fairly direct route or route. Okay, whistle. Excellent. Okay, let's... Uh, Put the old bell on as much as it is annoying. I'm not going to keep it going for too long, don't worry. Make sure the cylinder drains are open. Okay. And we've got heaps of water in the boiler, so that's fine. We'll just open the throttle or the regulator. And we should be putting some power down onto the rails now. Let's just put a little bit more coal into the old firebox here. I can't wait to get that expert shovel actually. I'm going to try it out at the end of this episode as well, I think, just before we wrap things up. I can't wait to drive this locomotive with that uh, expert shovel. Just looking there at the smoke color, just making sure that it's not too black. We want it to be a nice kind of grey, because that's a more efficient fire. We don't want it to be too light either. Just want it to be a nice grey. Anyway, we'll go easy on the throttle. Oops. I think we've got a handbrake on. Oh, I've got some brakes or the brakes are on. I think. Well, these brakes are definitely off. The air brakes are off. Oops, they need the wipers. Let's just turn the bell off for a sec. I just want to. Uh, yeah, I can definitely hear his squealing sound there. I think the brakes are on. Doesn't want us to leave. I'll have to go back and check what's going on there. I think there's a handbrake on somewhere. Oh, of course, it's this one. I thought I checked this already. I thought I've just run past this before. I can't even remember anymore. Anyway, never mind. Back we go. Whistle! Okay. 
We should be moving a lot easier now because we don't have that handbrake on anymore. I was wondering why it was taking a little bit more power to get moving just now as well. Had that pesky handbrake on back there. As you can see on this channel, we like to do things very professionally. <laughs> uh, I like to keep things in the video that just basically give you the raw experience. I'm just going to go a few notches up on the damper there. Just open the damper slightly from its closed position. I want to keep the boiler pressure just above 9 bar if possible. And one thing to note is once you start moving, just inch back on this uh, reverser. You can do that quite aggressively because you really don't need that much reverser when you're moving, especially once you're moving. Think about it as like the gears on your car. Once you're moving, you don't want to stay in first gear for too long. And this is like a, a car that's got a very big engine, a very big powerful engine. So as soon as you're moving off, you can actually cut back on the, uh, on the gear lever, as it were. You can go into your high gears quite soon. Now the consequences of not pulling back on your reverser soon enough when once you're moving is that you'll be using more steam and you'll be eating away at your boiler pressure as well so you'll be doing more work trying to add more coal and trying to keep your steam pressure up when you don't need to sorry about that just putting the bell on there again just because of that level crossing trying to do things the right way for a change okay so we are Finally leaving City Southwest for the second time in this uh, career mode, I must say. Uh, if only uh, I did things right the first time, I would have done this job by now. But anyway, where's the fun in doing things right? <laughs> in this episode though, we'll be doing things correctly, hopefully. Just ignore that little handbrake mishap that we've uh, had just now. <laughs> there won't be many inclines in this run either, so it's just going to be a nice easy trip. We don't have a big load on the back either, it's under 200 tons, so it's going to be a nice milk run. Look at that swampy area. Oh, looks like we need some more water. Let's get on the injector. It looks like we need some more coal as well. Let's turn this bell off first. Just make sure these points are set correctly. Let me just get a better look here. Yep, they need to be changed. We did come from that direction in the last episode, so that's the thing with this game as well. Whatever points you set in whatever direction, if you've come from the main line and you've changed the points over from some siding, just be careful if you're heading in the opposite direction because those points will be set into the siding the next time around as well. There's no one else on this map, just us. So whatever you set as the points, they stay that way. A nice incline going off that way, which we did uh, have to tackle last time, but not this time. Going on a nice straight section here. I think it might even be a downhill, I'm not too sure. But... Okay, got lots of uh, water in the boiler now. And we can see our boiler pressure's come down a bit because we've been adding new water into the boiler. So just bringing up that damper a little bit, a few more notches, trying to get the fire a little bit hotter. And just back off the regulator a bit inch back on the re on reverser as well try and save the steam because we're only at six bar on the old boiler pressure right now we don't want to go any lower than that coming look at the old map c and we can see that we've got uh we just passed those points so that's our approximate location now we do have another set of points coming up and we just want to make sure that we head straight or towards the left on those ones and not to the right hand side so just got to be careful there Let's stop pumping that water in because our boiler pressure is really suffering right now. And at 6 bar you really don't get much power out of this engine, that's for sure, from the boiler. It's a good thing we don't have much of a load behind us today. Because if we did, we'd really be feeling uh, a little bit inadequate on the old power. Especially you can see that when you open the throttle all the way, you really don't get much from the, uh, from the old engine at 6 bar. So... Hopefully we can fix that boiler pressure up. Our smoke's nice and grey actually, so that's good. It means that our fire is burning nice and warm. Could be a little bit warmer, but... Oh, those points came up way too fast for my liking there, but thankfully they're set fine. Off to the left, more or less, is where we want to go. 30k an hour, actually, we are pretty much pushing that speed limit right now. Train lost a little bit of uh, momentum going around that curve, but that's fine. So yes, we just passed that set of points there. So we'll be coming up to Oil Well Central shortly. 
let's get back on the power a little bit because I can feel the engine just slowing down. We'll go into running position on the brake there. Or lap position, I guess you could call it. Yes, so our next stop, we're basically right about just after there, just right past those points. We're we'll coming up to OWC shortly, so 60k an hour limit. We're well under the speed limit at the moment. Looks like it's level ground for the most part here still, so that's a good. Good thing because, yeah, we don't want to be going up any hills with this low amount of boiler pressure that we've got right now. Let's keep the cold coming. One thing to be mindful of with these steam engines too, you don't have cold service at every stop, so we've really got to make sure, especially with this little steam shunter, in comparison to the bigger engine, the, you know, the big steam engine, this one really doesn't have much cold, so you can see there that the steam water pressure is making a bit of recovery there, so that's good. It is gaining, going up to uh, about 7 bar there, which is good. So we'll keep that damper up high, nice and high. We'll keep that blower fully open, try and get as much draft as we can through uh, that chimney there because we need to make sure that we get this fire nice and hot. Okay, getting closer to Oil Well Central now, not far away. And then after that we'll be passing through the farm to get on the whistle here, I think. Points look like they're set just fine. A lot of flammable materials here at Oil Well Central. So I want to make sure that you've got the point set so that you don't run into this hazardous cargo and cause a huge explosion. <laughs> now one thing I want to just check as well is I find myself not really taking much note of the destination location and siding of where this cargo needs to go and I know it's a little bit early to be looking right now but I figure I might as well just get the station map out and God help me if I can find the destination here. <laughs> uh, it's D6I so it looks like transfer yard incoming siding number 6 from what I can ascertain there. So we'll see what we can find anyway when we get to Goods Factory in town. It's been a little bit of a while since I've been there I think. I'm sure we will work it out anyway. It's just good to know where one is going. Let's just uh, reduce that damper down just a little bit and just take the edge off the blower as well. We're kind of coasting at the moment so I don't want to go overboard on the fire and steam generation. Because that's one way to throw coal out the window there. Quite literally almost. Or out the chimney. There's no repair station, oh sorry, there's no coal service at Goods Factory in town there. There's no black dot that signifies that, so just have to be careful with the amount of coal that one does use. Okay, coming up to the farm now. Points are set correctly, so it should be a nice easy run through. I don't think it's gonna rain today. At least there's not much clouds about at the moment, so it should be a fairly easy run. There is going to be an incline leading up to Goods Factory in town, so we just need to make sure when we do get to our destination or get very near to it that we've got enough boiler pressure. Like I was saying before, around 9 bar is, is a good sort of balance, I guess, good moderate kind of steam pressure. Obviously if you've got a heavier load you will have to run your steam pressure a little bit higher, especially if you've got inclines. Just passing through the farm now, and then after this there'll be a nice viaduct or bridge, and then as we get closer to approaching the steel mill after that, there's going to be a nice incline, so kind of get ready for that one I think. So we left the farm just crossing the bridge and there's the steel mill in sight. And in true form as well, the rain has started to come down. So that's going to make it a little bit interesting for our run. Having wet rails like that is going to reduce the amount of traction we'll have. But hopefully we won't get any wheel slip here. 
Now we do have to make sure that we've got a good amount of fire going here. Because we've got an incline, we've got to make sure we head off to the left hand side there. We've got a little bit of speed at the moment, so we'll try and maintain that speed. I'm just going to go all in with the throttle right now. Full throttle. Come on, we've got to make it up this hill. That's a fair grade, this one. We've got to make sure that we make it up here without any problems. We've been gradually building up our boiler pressure, so we should be fine. I can definitely hear the train slowing down now. The thing with this incline is we do have a bit of a curve here. There's no point going too fast because the steel mill is basically right here. So we're just going to open the throttle for now. But once we're over this hump, I'll back off the regulator once again. Right now, I'm a bit more worried about these points. I'm going to make sure that these are set right, otherwise we'll go running into the back of a train. <laughs> that one wasn't because we, uh, yeah, I think I must have set them away from the main line at one point. bit more on the bell again as we go through the steel mill okay that's enough of that it's a little bit of rain but there's not that much rain so I'll turn the wipers off for the moment Get a little bit more fire going so we'll turn up the damper and the blower there back onto the bell again sorry about that folks got a level crossing coming up i really hope that one day they put some ai traffic in here that would really be cool to see some cars waiting behind the booms or behind the invisible booms in this case even just having workers coming and going from the factory would be nice our little engine shed junction got to make sure that the points are set correctly I'm pretty sure they are I haven't messed with those I don't think in career mode yet so here we are just basically just past the steel mill we've got a nice straight section coming up here and this is mostly level ground if not a slight downhill I believe so we've got a nice mostly straight section of track coming up so just got to make sure we don't speed up too much and those points are set correctly which is good Ah, the old plains, the old open plains of Derailed Valley coming up here Doing a nice leisurely 50k an hour Let's just get off the throttle a little bit here because uh, Don't want to make this train run away from us Add a little bit more water Yeah, you can really hear that, hear it picking up some speed now. Got some grindy grindies on the rails. Got a 70k an hour limit, but I'm just going to add a little bit of braking here. It's just initiate a bit of pressure there, just to slow the train down. Just a touch. And this is real nice up here in this section of the map because it's very open not many uh, just some nice open curves here as well real chance to get the speed up I remember in the SH-282 doing some crazy speed along here at, at one point 90 to 100 kilometers an hour 60 miles an hour thereabouts the old shunter is not going to get to that speed although I've never really uh, tested the limits of it either just yet maybe that's something for a future video 
Our load's still there, that's always handy. Not far away now folks, just keeping this fire a little bit low, we don't need that much pressure right now, although as I did say earlier on, there is a nice little incline coming up as we do reach the destination of Goods Factory in town, so that's just something we need to, uh, to be mindful of. That's a, a fair incline as well, just as we get up to the tunnel at the entrance of that station there. But yeah, I estimate that we're pretty much in this region right here at the moment. We do have a set of points coming up, and we just need to make sure that we head off to the right-hand side once we get to those set of points there. Otherwise, we'll be heading further north, which is not what we want to do in this run. I think... Uh, I think the poor old goods factory has waited long enough to get this load of plywood. And I must say it's been sitting out in the rain for quite a few days now, so <laughs> I don't want to be the person that's getting this plywood. Okay, we've uh, come up to that set of points I was just talking about now, and they are set incorrectly. So I've just changed that so that they're taking us over to the right hand side. And the rain's starting to come down a little bit now as well. But yes, Still got a little bit of a level section, but then as we get closer to Good Factory, there is going to be an incline. So, got a 50k an hour limit as we head over to the right, right here. We're doing well below 50, so we should be all good. And another 50k an hour zone right here. So, I'll have to get onto the throttle here, onto the old regulator, and uh, just get the speed up a little bit if we can. Now, I don't think, unfortunately, our pressure is still around 6 bar here, so. Yes, I haven't really been tending to the fire as, as much as I'd like, unfortunately. What have I been doing? I've been, just been daydreaming. <laughs> just kidding. I've been pumping a lot of water in, that's what I've been doing. And when you pump water, you lose pressure. Just get the blower on full there. We can need every ounce of steam pressure we've got here shortly. Let's just uh, eat into the reverser a little bit here. And let's get this fire going a little bit more because we are not going to be in a good spot if we stall this train. I'm going to back off the reverser just a touch actually, just to save whatever steam pressure we do have. We've got less than 6 bar at the moment. I'm not touching the injector. Firebox temps are rising. Yeah, and it looks like our boiler pressure is recovering there, so we should be okay. Let's add a little bit more coal here. Yeah, I think she's full. I can't wait to get this expert shovel. It's going to give us a lot more resolution on the old shoveling. It's going to double the amount of uh, shovels that we need. And I can't wait to start using this expert shovel once we do get it shortly on future episodes, so that's coming up very shortly, I'm sure, unless something goes horribly wrong, which is also very possible. Yeah, boiler pressure's recovering, we're just over 6 bar now, and speed's doing well as well, so I'm just going to back off the reverser a bit, just save a little bit more steam. To be honest with you, just over 20k now, that's a nice comfortable speed, like I said earlier. I've given up all hope of getting this time bonus because, well, basically that in the last episode we basically ruined our chances of getting it anyway, so I've got a nice grey tinge there on the smoke stack. Yeah, here comes the incline. So I estimate that we're pretty much in this section right about here at the moment. And Goods Factory in town is just under that rail line there, so there's going to be a bit of a tunnel that we'll go through. Yeah, look at that lovely grey smoke. Our fire is burning very efficiently right now. That's what you want. You don't want black smoke. Or white smoke for that matter. I'm going to have to add a little bit more water unfortunately. And I'm just going to get right on the throttle here as well. So we're really... Whatever boiler pressure we've just re managed to gain, we're really going to dig back into it right now. But you see, I let, I let the boiler pressure come up first before I started injecting water and getting back into the regulator there, so we've got a little bit of buffer on the boiler pressure. Ideally it should be above 9, I realise, but 
anything above six right now with this amount of load on the back is fine okay we're speeding up so we need the speed to get this run up it's good we're at pretty much 30 now and the speed limit's 60 yep so there's the viaduct the viaduct and here's the tunnel the thing with Yep, I think they hear us. I'm pretty sure they hear us. Just in case they didn't hear us. <laughs> I was going to say, just as we come through the tunnel here, the goods factory in town comes up pretty quickly. And I don't think this is the right way, but I just want to check out... Oh, to be honest with you, it's been a little while since I've been down this end of the Rail Valley. We did pass through Food Factory and Town recently in the drive around the entire map video. But not Goods Factory. Yeah, this is B. B yard, this is not D yard, so. Anyway, keep on going straight ahead here. There's some nice little places up here at Goods Factory and Town. There's actually a, a shop here that has. Well, one of the main reasons why we are here is to get the expert shovel. And that was the rhyme and reasoning behind me getting this plywood job in episode 3, the last episode. And I must say that's worked out well. We've managed to make it here in our old steam shunter without blowing anything up so far. Just add a little bit more water. You know, I get the feeling we'll have to just go straight through these platforms. Ah, uh, there's a level crossing, no barrel. Oh well. There's no one on the platform! Might as well get on the bell right now. I would love for them to do uh, have some passenger jobs in Dirao Valley. I think as I've said before, it seems like all the infrastructure is here. So it'd be great if they uh, just populated some, I don't know, some, maybe not even people, but just some jobs where you have to stop station to station. The thing is, I guess, the map is quite large and also stations are quite dispersed. So looking at the map, you've got City Southwest and then you've got Goods Factory in town all the way on the other side. You've got Food Factory in town all the way at the top of the map. And then you've got Harbour in town all the way at the bottom. So really, what, you've got Machine Factory in town, that's another one. So what's that? About five or so towns on the entire map. And they're all quite heavily dispersed out and uh, quite a large distance away from each other so I guess if you were to do a passenger run whilst I'm sure you could probably do it with this little shunter you probably want to use the SH-282 I would have thought as those of you would have seen when I did my drive around the whole map video there it did get a little bit close when I missed the water tower at one of the stations so whilst it probably can be done yeah the SH-282 would have more of a range to it I'd say Anyway, just making our way around this little loop here at Goods Factory in town. This will take us into the D yard, I'm pretty sure. Should be along at the end of this curve, basically, as we go around this little horseshoe section. Got another level crossing here. Okay, we're coming around to D yard there, and what's that I see at the... Uh... Ooh, look at that. What's that? That looks like a DM3 there in the distance. Trying not to get tempted by the DM3 here. I really don't want to be tempted by the DM3. I want to get a little bit more mileage out of this steam shunter. Let me just make sure that these uh, points are set correctly before we go any further. Let's just leave a moving train. Perfectly fine, no problem. I'll put the brake application on very light here, it's hardly stopping. Got a nice grey fire there. We made it to Goods Factory in town. Okay, that's enough daydreaming. From the looks of it, I think it's only this set of points right here which we need to change over. Because we need to go into D6I. Hey, look at that! Look at the DM3! DM3! Trying to resist the DM3s waves of energy right now you can all let me know if i'm crazy but feel free to type below in the comments um, if you think i should get 
VM3 license soon. I think it'll be nice to have in the old uh, inventory there. Probably won't be driving it just yet, but yeah, 30 grand and we'll have the DM3 license. <laughs> we don't have it just yet. Oh, okay. Looks like we, uh, <laughs> poor old steam shunter. We kept the throttle on there and the fire is about to die basically as well. Uh, okay, let's, let's really stop daydreaming here and just finish this job already. God. I still want to try out this expert shovel properly. So once we get the expert shovel in just a moment, once we park this up and finally finish this job that's just been waiting, I'll go ahead and head on into the store shortly and we'll purchase that expert shovel. Okay, this is the last stop for our plywood. Finally, it's only taken me two episodes to do this job. Uh, anyway, made it in the end, thankfully. Just missing out on our time bonus, that's all. But hey, it could have been a lot worse. Could have derailed, could have exploded. D6I, here we are in the siding. Our fire is almost dead. But yes, we'll go ahead and just pull the brakes on shortly, just once we get through those points there. This is a nice long siding, this one. I think he is good enough. Let's start applying some brake here. Okay. Just open the cylinder drains there while we stop. So let's go and get into the station office and validate this job card. Ooh. Hang on a sec. And we've just run out of water. How about that? That was close. We just ran out of water. Okay. Well, that's interesting because that means we're going to need to put some water into this thing before we take it for a run next time. So we don't have manual servicing anyway at the moment. So we'll just pay the fees on this locomotive and that should fill us up and get those tanks full of water anyway. So we'll go ahead and just shut everything down for the moment. Still got a bit of pressure in the boiler, but that's fine. One thing to remember as well is just come in here and just close this lubricator at the end of every run. So just turn it clockwise to close it. Otherwise, apparently it does leak oil and then that'll probably cause more oil fees over time. So we've got one set of handbrakes on there. We'll probably come back and just move this thing away from the cargo in just a moment. But let's go ahead and uh, yeah, look at this thing. I just, yeah, doesn't the S060 just have that beautiful look to it? I don't know what it is just has a very nice compact but powerful look to it like it's ready for work kind of thing you know anyway let's go and get this job card sorted out there's that overpass actually that i did pass over in the drive around the whole map video that i did recently and it's mostly level at that point but then as you go around here then the incline really kicks up so yeah that's that's really an interesting one we did pass over this whole section in that video there's a water tower and uh, yeah, most of these uh, locations now have water towers as per the latest update, Build 95 I think it was. There's a whole bunch of uh, buildings over there. There's our shop out there as well, I'm pretty sure. And we'll go in, we'll stop in at the shop very shortly once we just uh, validate our job card. Mm. Just taking in the surrounds here. Very beautiful place here at Goods Factory in town. Okay, all right, so where's our job? We didn't actually uncouple, but that's fine. We have done... You can see there, actually, when all was said and done, there was only like 176 minutes there for our total job time. We did actually get, uh, not really that close to the time bonus, but we did a whole bunch of, uh, of double backing and backtracking in the last video. So yeah, that's why we couldn't make that. As I said, episode three, that was a real doozy. Okay, so you can see there our steam shunter. Fees have gone up a little bit there to just over 5k and the uh, old diesel shunter which we've left behind now that served us well for the first three episodes of our career we'll go ahead and just pay these fees I think and just get all of this sorted out so yeah here is the uh, that is the diesel I'm sorry the uh, steam shunter and here's our diesel shunter which we've really uh, <laughs> we've damaged up quite a little bit there 
But yes, because the copay is only $2,000 at the moment, I've only got long train one. So yeah, not really got much here to worry about. That's the really good thing about this insurance copay thing. We've got here like over 30 grand's worth of fees, but you know what? All we need to do is pay two grand and we'll clear them out. So I'm really liking long train one for the moment. I'll probably keep that as is uh, in place for now. Maybe just work towards doing manual servicing maybe. Uh, that might be something. We'll see how we go. Okay, so we've cleared out our fees and we've got 16k in the old wallet. Not enough to get the DM3 license unfortunately yet. But here we are at Goods Factory in town. So who knows what we'll end up in the next episode. I haven't really looked at the jobs here either. But yes, we did come from City Southwest in this episode and just a nice easy run up to Goods Factory in town. That was a, a nice run actually for a change. A bit less stressful for a change, which is good. So yeah, anyway, uh, now let's go ahead and just visit the old shop here. Eh? Let's check out this expert shovel. Just checking out the surrounds here at uh, Goods Factory in town. There's some ticket booths here at the uh, passenger platforms. And there's a nice little clock up there. There's a little public transport bus. So yeah, it looks like a lot of the infrastructure is here. And you can see the platforms are nice and mossy there. Haven't been used in a little while from, from the looks. But yeah, it would be great to have some sort of passenger mod and part of me, there might already be one out there. I haven't checked Nexus mods in a little while actually since this simulator update. So yeah, just having a little mosey here, but I think we should uh, probably get on and uh, head back into the store and just get that shovel already. So I'm told this is one of the only stores I think that has the both the golden shovel and the expert shovel. That's, so that's the expert shovel there. Shovel less coal for improved control over coal amount in the firebox. Okay, and that's 5k, which is fine. That's just what we want. The golden shovel is not really what we want. I couldn't imagine anything worse than uh, shoveling more coal in one go. I think it does like some fancy little gesture, I guess, as you're um, as you're shoveling the coal in as well. But eh. There's some cassettes here as well for the boom box, but there's no boom box at this shop. So that's interesting. Okay, let's go ahead and just purchase this expert shovel already. So this is the moment we've all been waiting for, ladies and gents. There it is, there it is. Expert shovel time. Just running out the store here with my lovely, beautiful expert shovel. Unfortunately, I was hoping for some sort of decoration on this thing, like, I don't know, maybe like a little red band or something around the handle. That would have been nice. Something to just sort of distinguish it from the normal shovel. I know it's not the golden shovel, but hey, um, I think it, you know, it deserves something a little bit different than just a plain looking shovel. What do you think? Okay, it's just a shovel. <laughs> Okay, well, let's go and test out this expert shovel and just see how it works. I'm gonna go ahead and uncouple as well while we're at it here. And what I'm thinking of doing is just moving this train or this locomotive down to the end of the siding here and just backtrack past the DM3. But yes, let's get this expert shovel out. So let's, what I'm gonna do is put my normal shovel into my backpack there, which I can do. And then I'm left with my expert shovel. So look at that. Ooh. Just look at the finesse on this expert shovel. This is not just any shovel. It's an expert shovel. Okay, but all jokes aside, this expert shovel really adds another layer of realism to this. And I haven't even driven this locomotive with it yet. I can just tell it's going to give way more finesse. Okay, maybe I'm getting a little bit too excited here about the expert shovel, but to be honest with you, I'm loving this right now because this, in my opinion, just makes it's, I can just tell already that it's going to make it way more realistic, okay? And there's uh, the DM3. I can just feel the energy from that DM3. It's pulling me over there. So I'm going to have to just start this locomotive up, I'm afraid, and uh, make tracks. Just move this locomotive closer to that DM3, I guess. Uh, I just want to get it off this siding and onto its own little line there. We'll move this thing out of this siding and just reverse on this adjacent track in the direction I'm looking right now. There's one more set of tracks over there. I'm just trying out this expert shovel a little bit more. Look at that. Just want a nice little pile of coal to add in there. Yeah, that definitely adds to the realism in my view. So 
Let me know what you think below in the comments about this expert shovel so far. I know we, we're not going to get a chance to really try it too much in this video. But in the next video, don't you worry, we're going to be having more of a run with this uh, steam engine. Ooh, sounds like I had a bit of water there in the cylinders, but I don't think I did. Okay, anyway, that's, uh, I'm going to just pull up ahead and then reverse back on this adjacent track here. Oh, look at that! I love it. I love that expert shovel. Beautiful. Okay folks, I think I'm going to wrap it up here for this video. I'm just going to go ahead and put the brakes on. And I just realized something. I forgot to turn on the lubricator. Silly me. Uh, I think I might have caused a little bit of wear and tear to the old 060 there. Uh, thankfully it wasn't too much of a drive, but yes, anyway. Next time, I'll have to do better. Okay, I think we'll call it here, folks. So, yes, thanks so much for watching. Really hope you enjoyed this episode. We've got our expert shovel in this episode. So, yeah, and we managed to drive our steam shunter as well for the first time properly in career mode. So, a few firsts there. And not quite ready to move on to the DM3 just yet. We don't have the license for it anyway. But, yes, all right, I can't help but just get close to this thing can see there that we are missing the license so I'm gonna have to get the license for the DM3 I think at some point let me know comment below what you think about that I think I should definitely do it and I don't know about double heading the DM3 and the Steam Loco together I did do that in a recent video I know but this is career mode man can't afford to uh, mess about so and I just realized I left the fire running there on the steam engine as well that's fine got heaps of water in the boiler from what I remember. Okay, well I'm just gonna head back into the station office here and we'll just do a little bit of a wrap up summary and just see what kind of jobs we've got here at Goods Factory in town and see if we can't set up next episode. Okay, uh, it's a nice end of the day now. What's the time? The time is uh, 7.30 I think from the looks. Got quite a few jobs here actually at Goods Factory in town so we've really got a pick of what we wanna do next. The DM3 as I mentioned that's yeah that's 30k that one and uh, we don't have the money to get the DM3 license just yet unfortunately but don't worry that is on my list I might even get that next actually before anything else okay we do have long train one at the moment and we've got that steam shunting license obviously but we we'll might obviously do a job first and you can see here that there's a few oh yeah there's some electronic deliveries and chemical deliveries out of here and I think I can do this one from Goods Factory in town all the way down to Harbour in town actually. That might be a good one to be honest with you. And yeah, that'll be nice. So we'll be coming back down through Steel Mill and then back down towards Harbour in town here. Well, down towards Harbour in town. And yeah, that's, that's going to be a nice little run to do I think. 333 tonne with the old steam shunter. Taking that. It'd be nice to do that with the DM3 as well. But yeah, we've got that to look forward to in the future. Got some other jobs here as well, but... Eh, not really too... Oh yeah, there's another one going harbour in town. Some pipes this time. Actually, this is a good one. I think I'm going to use... I'm going to go with this job right here, to be honest with you. 25 grand, so that's a nice, healthy pay packet. Going from Goods Factory in town, where we are now. And we'll be heading down back towards the way we came, past Steel Mill, nice straights here. And then just curve around here and then go through the woodsy kind of stuff. Um, some curves and curvatures over to Harbour and Town. So, yeah, Harbour and Town's a, a very interesting destination as we've seen so far in this game. So, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and set us up for the next episode. So, delivering pipes in episode 5 using our steam shunter and using our expert shovel. So, I hope you're all looking forward to that one. I definitely am. I've got a nice healthy load of weight on that one as well. So, yeah, 385 ton. With the steam shunter, can we do it? We'll see, I guess. Hopefully we can, and hopefully I don't blow everything up. Because, yeah, that, that wouldn't be ideal in career mode. I only got 11k in the wallet as well, so, yeah, we've got to be careful not to make any mistakes with derail and stuff like that, whatever it is. But yes, wouldn't you agree it's getting exciting now in career mode? Well, actually, it has been exciting in my view so far, uh, <laughs> especially that last episode. I just can't stop going on about it. Uh, anyway, yes, so in this next episode, we'll be doing the run down from here, Goods Factory in town, down to Harbour in town. So definitely looking forward to that one and hope you all are as well. And I can't wait to have that video out soon as well. So stay tuned and catch you all in the next one. Uh.